So the title of the article is on enhanced sensing of chiral molecules in optical cavities. Chiral molecules are like, a, like our hands, okay? There is a left version and there's a right version. And it is important to know which of the two versions you have in a sample. For example, the active principles in, a, in most medicines are chiral molecules, but only one of the two hands is going to work. So one way to tell the dominant handedness of the molecules uh, is by shining silicon polarized light onto them, okay? And then monitoring the differential absorption. What I mean is, okay, you have the molecules and then you shine this circular polarization and then you shine the other and the two times you monitor the absorption and you do the difference. And this is your signal. Um, what would happen is if you had the other hand and you do the same experiment, the difference would be the same, but of opposite sign. And this is how you tell. Uh, the problem is that these differences are extremely small. And this makes this kind of measurements quite complicated. So in the field of nanophotonics, we are working on designs for structures that help enhance the signal. And we have come up with a special kind of cavity which helps uh, achieving a theoretical enhancement of more than uh, two orders of magnitude. So the paper is a theoretical study. So in our cavities, the light bulb that we use is not uh, the one in the typical fabry perot modes where light bounces perpendicularly uh, between the walls like this, um, because that changes the handedness at each reflection, okay? So you have plus, minus, plus, minus, and at the end, you, don't, you will not get any differential signal. We're using modes of the cavity where light is doing this. So there is oblique ref uh, reflections of the walls. And this actually, this oblique reflections don't change the polarization. All right. So there are more details in the paper, of course.